We could invite uh, Richard Stallman, who is the uh, founder of the Free Software Association, and Tim Ney, who is the managing director. There we go. <laughs> I, ah, here it is. <laughs> I, now Richard, I, I saw you playing your recorder at the, in Paris at that uh, Linux conference, but I didn't have an audio track. So you, would you get them to add audio to their uh, video downstream next time? Uh, I don't have any control over that. Unfortunately, those things can only be done with non-free software. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll give you uh, the award. And before you say a word, we'll have Tim and yourself hold up a a little representation of the contribution towards the Free Software Association. So very ironic things have happened, but nothing to match this. Giving the Linus Torvalds Award to the Free Software Foundation is sort of like giving the Han Solo Award to the Rebel Fleet. <laughs> <clears throat> you see, <clears throat> some of you may not realize how far that analogy goes. But actually, let me tell you how this, how we got here. See, what happened is, 15 years ago, if you wanted to use a computer, the only way you could do it was, to, was with proprietary software, software that divides and subjugates the users. And most people just, a lot of people didn't like it, but they saw no alternative. But some of us were determined to make an alternative, and we said, we're going to develop a free operating system, a free software operating system that will give users the chance to have freedom while they use their computers. Now, a lot of people said, well, it's a nice idea, but it's so hard, and we'll never get it done, so I don't want to participate. I don't believe you can ever get it done. But luckily, not everybody said that. And clearly, we knew we would eventually get the kernel done. But as it happens, somebody else did a better kernel before we did. Now, in the old days, we had an overall strategy for calling people's attention to the importance of freedom, to the freedom that they can have or not have when they use a computer. Well, what can we do about it? As far as I can tell, the only workable way of trying to change this and make that strategy work again is to spread the word that the operating system you're using is actually the GNU system. Somewhat modified, of course. And when people know this, they'll take a look at the reasons we developed this system, they'll think about these issues, and some of them will decide they agree. So I ask people, please tell people this is the GNU system. It's the combination of GNU and Linux, so we can call it GNU slash Linux. 